The Advanced Computing Center here at Texas is the high-end computational center for the University of Texas and also for the national community. We're funded by National Science Foundation to provide our resources to researchers across the nation. And so we're working right now to build a brand new system that's going to be available by the end of the year and it'll be the uh, biggest supercomputer in the world. To give you an idea, the, the Ranger system that's being installed right now is going to end up with over 15,000 AMD processors in it. Uh, that's a staggering number, so I mean that's basically equivalent to 15,000 desktops uh, with all the brand new quad-core uh, processors that AMD is releasing. The types of the problems that we're trying to solve, they're so big, they're, they're really grand challenge problems, and, and we have cases today that we can't run because we don't have enough memory. We do expect to be running models, everything from earthquake prediction and simulation to long-term climate modeling. A weather forecast, everything from that to nanotechnology, uh, molecular science. Uh, we even expect to have a large group uh, doing astrophysics, trying to solve the supermassive black holes. So the more cores we can have, the larger the job that we can actually simulate. The other thing which is really attractive to us is the memory hierarchy of the Opteron processor. So we're very interested in density, where we're trying to get as many processing cores in a small area as possible. The AMD solution was actually brought forward to us by Sun. The density, the four socket solutions were uh, all ideal and well suited for, for the nature of, of what we wanted to provide to the researchers. Also, with the new design of the processors, we're going to be able to perform more floating point operations per second than the previous generation of processors. So uh, not only did we get a doubling of the cores, but we also got a doubling of the performance on a per-processing core basis. And for high-performance computing, one of the things that you're interested in is, we talk about it as being able to feed the beast. You've got to be able to get information from the memory to the processor so you can do some useful computing. And the AMD Opteron processor really excels at being able to feed the beast. Right now, you know, most of the researchers only have access to systems up to, you know, four or 5,000 processing cores. Now they're going to have access to a system that, that is going to be 60,000 processing cores. Uh, that, that's a huge leap. The one thing that we know is that we're going to be able to provide a system that has no boundaries in terms of what, you know, users are used to. They're going to actually sit down and say, all right, what can I do with 60,000 processors? And what problems can I look at that I couldn't even dream possible before?